on behalf of the committee, we want to sympathize with the bereaved, the young soldier's family, and also sympathize with the affected victims, those who were innocently beaten. That we have suffered enough, and enough is enough. I was in Afwanga na TV na muhe mo bibia akwa ba e da so wa shama en sense mu a ne so jania o film ya 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 omo akwa akosi no na ona wo ken Japan eh ona wo ye panyina wo da committee a omo hwe bambo ho en sense mu chairman of defense and interior committee a o parliament ana wo che se eh omo ebe ko ashama na omo ne eh omanfo no akwa akwa kasa na if you say omo tieti se de normal si ko ye na so mo ko meeting no se de no mani si ko ye no eche se so just for no bu wo no mo awo shani dem na ya twe no api na ye gwa no ya bu no ya 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 bra oni ma sem no ho hwe sa anso so na so jani ya ye ku no so so eh omo sympathize with eh so just for no because ono so so eh ya se ye ku mu abrante ye ya 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 oni ni ye ndu ba bia eno ena ona bo ken japan e di atujwa omo che so mo be ko na omo ne omo akokasa se de be ya asumdwi e be ba ye nko na ye nko ti ona bo ken japan se de o si e kan na sem ne ba eh chairman for onso so eh mu mp former mp ene mpenfo e ho so kire se so just for no omo e me pa chew se de be ya omo a omo people omo na omo yi no sent nso so e bo beto omo ye nko ti ona bo ken japan emra to give you a short briefing on what actually happened at asham between the residents of asham and the ghana armed forces in fact, we met this afternoon road going with the defense ministry and the military high command. The able lieutenants, my committee members, met and we've come to an agreement that the members of the committee, the Ministry of Defense, and the military high command to pay a visit on Thursday to Asham to dialogue with the people of Asham as well as the military high command. So, for the meantime, we pleaded with our honorable member from Asham. I don't, I don't wish to be in the shoes. Normally, it's very loud for the committee. And today, <laughs> what I can is say, never a break. <laughs> so, I haven't seen it so down by this before, which means it has taken a toll in We all sympathize with him. On behalf of the committee, we want to sympathize with the bereaved, the young soldier's family, and also sympathize with the affected victims, those who were innocently beaten. They were not part of it. But unfortunately, they got to a scene where they were not supposed to be. Or even I heard some of them were in their various homes and they knocked, they came out and beat them. I think we all have to admit as human beings that there were excesses. And therefore, we sympathize with the people of Asham. At the same time, we also sympathize with the Ghana Armed Forces for our young men taking the law into their own hands to kill one of theirs. But a situation like this, all we can say is that we need peace. We, as members of the committee, cannot inflame passions by going there to make comments that who are knowing a fashion. We are not to do that. Our mission is to make sure we have peace in this country. The unfortunate incident that happened, we have all condemned it. And minister has even apologized on behalf of the military. On a bonia wa kuti na bana wa chesonde or pa asungi or pa asungi aha inti 
ombe ko no mwa ne omwa ko dalo go omwa ko kasa na asumdwe aba na yango nyego ti ashama fo so so mon sema o de tu jo mo chese ah ye wi independence na independence day ya machi ama ye hu se ya di 66 ye ko so kura ye hu no so ni ade ya na mo ya kokum so jani ya 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 ntwe ye de na so 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 just for no mo ba so so omo ene omo ani ni ye yango na yango ti omo emra we also want to use this medium to condemn the murder of the soldier and call on the police to speed up their investigations and bring the perpetrators to book. Secondly, we empathize with every person who fell victim to the dastardly acts of the military brutalization on 7 March 2023. Soldiers unlawfully broke into the houses of residents of Ashama drag them out of their beds and brutalize them. The soldiers also cause excessive damage to the properties of the residents. In addition, they kidnapped over 400 people and unlawfully took them to Burma camp. And as we speak now, people are still complaining and making statements about their missing family members. The irony about the whole incident is that it's happened less than 48 hours after celebrating the country's independence from colonial rule. It appears the country has replaced the foreign oppressor with an, an indigenous one. We are currently in a constant state of fear for our lives because the soldiers told the resident that it's a one-month oppression and they have instructions from above to put the fear of God in them to avenge the murder of the fallen soldier. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, we the people of Ashama condemn the beastly acts of the Ghana Armed Forces. And we also call for the President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Akufuado Dankwa, the Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, to do the same and render an unqualified apology to the good people of Ashama for the criminal acts of his troops. Yeah. Yeah. We also civil societies, professional bodies like the Ghana Bar Association, religious bodies, among others, to join us in condemning the violence and the criminal acts of the soldiers. Consistently and persistently, the Ghana Armed Forces have taken Ashama as the training ground for unleashing violence on the innocent citizens. With impunity. We are saying loud and clear that we have suffered enough, and enough is enough. Wow. Yeah. If citizens cannot sleep peacefully in their home, where else should they find peace in a democratic country like Ghana? We are therefore, as a matter of urgency, one, calling on the president to order the immediate re release of all residents of Ashama that the soldiers are illegally keeping in their custody. Two, calling on the president to immediately set up a committee to investigate the criminal acts of the soldiers and the culprits punished. Three, calling on the president to direct the Minister of Defense to pay all the damaged properties of the Ashama residents caused by the soldiers. Four, pay adequate compensation to all victims of the military brutalization. Five, provide street lights in all communities in Ashama since darkness was a contributing factor for the murder of their soldier because the incident happened in a dark place. Yeah. Yeah. Of Ashama are also citizens of Ghana and not spectators. Ashama lives matter. As our national anthem encourages every citizen to be bold to fight and resist oppressors' rule, we pledge to do exactly that. We demand for justice, and we demand it now. Since justice delayed, is justice denied. Long live the people of Ashama. Long live the fight for freedom and justice in Ghana. Showboy! Showboy! I am aware that before the, the commander-in-chief came to power in 2016, he lived on the word of God. The battle 
is for the Lord. And that is what he used to come to power. I want to send a word to him that what has happened to us is a big blow to us. We are not disturbed. This battle is for the Lord. Ashama is not the battleground. Indeed, the battleground is at Ukraine. Anybody who wants to wage battle should go to Ukraine, right. not Ashama. Right. But if you come here to wage war on us with soldiers, armored cars, helicopters, all that we will say is that the battle is for the Lord. And I'll give him Psalm 144. We are protected. We are guided. We are going to be under the uh, ampit of the Lord under Psalm 144. Because he likes quoting the Bible. Because Uvoriata likes quoting the Bible. I'm also quoting the Bible to them. That we are protected. This is not Ukraine. They should not die because the Lord is our protector. The battle they are brought here, the Lord will protect us. Number two, as a commander-in-chief of the armed forces, I, I, as a former member of parliament and a deputy speaker of parliament, deputy majority leader of parliament, we have had these things before. If somebody is dead, if somebody was murdered unlawfully, we condemn it already. The killing of the soldier is uncalled for. And the correct institution should go into it. Not soldiers. So if you send the soldiers, our protection. Yeah, Ojo. What's on this canal? Okay, any mama check me some from. Kaish! A soon top top send party, Jack. Mama, we are saying can you. Hey, Mimi Daba. Offa, Pacha Mamma Fro. You know what when you have to say? Masuya yes, no nana. Not day. So baby I'm a tea to me. And I'm over fast and miska. I think I want to see what business is correct this can. Oh, you're the buy and so I'm a boy. I won't send me bray. I feel crowd of mobile some semi transaction or order. Ah! Debbie. And catch you, catch your offer, say, on download tap tap send. So download tap tap sender or send this camera wire. I better send mobile money and our bank account to simple. Tap tap send. Yeah, tap tap send. Now, okay, tap tap send it here. We are safe for baby, we are so what Europe and South America, Canada. So, we are Android, so we are iPhone. And once we download the app, we are too so In the process, we will say, promo code A. Now, we are going to show you a automatically. No, you are five pounds and five euros. And we are more and more Europe. So America and Canada, yeah, chow, eh, yeah, ten dollars for free. Who send this cancer? Yen to we tap tap send it here. No fee. Hey, they just say okay. Tap tap send. Pop, 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 pop,